air conditioning. But if you don't, KXOY4's Ian Cole has some tips on how to cool your home down even without AC. If you're like me, you might have gone to bed last night when it was around 80 degrees inside. With another day in the 90s, it could be hotter tonight. That's why I asked Trista Webster with SNAP to help cool things down. Put some water in a spray bottle, put it in the fridge, and then when you get home from work or you know, you're just hanging out and you realize how hot you are, just kind of missed yourself a little bit. Webster walked me through some steps to keep you and your home less hot. You do have a way to find some curtains that are a little bit thicker and heavier. That will help keep that sun and the heat out. She says to close those thick curtains during the day along with the windows, but open them at night. Webster also says a cheap, easy way to create a centuries-old air conditioner is by a couple of fans. But to put a big bowl of ice water in front of a box fan, it kind of has a swamp cooling effect, and so that air will cool itself as it runs over that, that water. And instead of cooking inside your house and heating it up even more, come outside to cook on the grill or choose something that doesn't have to be cooked at all for dinner. And if you spring for an AC unit, Chris Drake with the Vista says to check the specifics. Many big box stores have them for several hundred dollars, but on Craigslist, many are listed for 75 to $200. As far as the BTU ratings, that's gonna tell you more uh, how big a room it can um, it can cool. And probably the better way to look is, is look for where it says, you know, it's the square footage of the room that it's designed to cool. Also, don't park your car in an attached garage. When hot, it's like a baked potato and can heat up your your home and finally if you're still warm before bed try a cold shower to lower body temperature and drink another glass of ice water especially if it's still hot inside ian cole kxoy4 news